Hi, I'm Chrissy Balk, and I'm with the Davy Tree Expert Company in Kent, Ohio. I'm, I'm here today to talk to you about how to identify some wood decay fungi and why it's important. So um, the reason why it's important is because we work under trees every day, and even in our normal lives, we're under trees and near them. And so it's really important to know whether or not they're hazardous or okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna dive into some ways to talk about identification with wood decay fungi if you wanna come over here and follow me. Um, one way to know that there's a wood decay fungus on your tree, or at least to help you to get to that point, um, is knowing that they will always be attached to the tree, okay? They're gonna either be attached to the trunk of the tree, the base of the tree, or the roots of the tree, or even branches. Um, if they're not attached to those parts of the tree, that means that they're not going to be wood decay fungi because they're not directly connected to the tree and infecting it, okay? It's a really good way to start off identification with wood decay fungi. Another rule of thumb with uh, wood decay fungi is a lot of shelf fungi are decay fungi, okay? So if you see something that looks like this coming off a tree that looks like a shelf, um, that's also called a conch, not a mushroom, so it's called a conch. Um, that is typically going to be a wood decay fungus, all right? So now that I've kind of gone into the basics of what you will see with wood decay fungi and identification, um, I'll go into each um, mushroom that I have here, each fungus, fruiting body that I have here, um, and kind of tell you how to ID each one individually. The first decay fungus I'm gonna to talk to you today about is um, dead man's fingers, and the scientific name for that is Xylaria polymorpha. Um, and I have it here, as you can see. It's called dead man's fingers because these little protrusions come out of the um, roots of the tree where they're connected, um, and they actually infect the roots and decay the roots of the tree. Um, but they also look like fingers coming out of the ground, little black fingers coming out of the ground. Um, typically, they're in groups of three to five. Um, they can be found singularly, but usually they will always be found in groups. And they can be much bigger than this. These are pretty small ones. The outside of the club-like structure is always going to be black. And then the inside, the top part, which kind of looks like the nail of a finger, um, is always going to be white. And that's where the spores come out of this fungus to infect. This will usually um, grow in the spring, but it can pop up really whenever during the growing season. And uh, it will actually, so this uh, fungus will actually maintain its structure throughout the season, releasing spores the whole time through that white part, okay? The next fungus we're gonna talk about is called artist conch. Um, also, the scientific name is Ganoderma aplanatum. And the way that I kind of remember how to identify artist conch as opposed to some other Ganoderma species. Um, Ganoderma aplanatum is an A, so artist A, aplanatum A, helps you out there. Just a little helpful hint. Um, so the best way to identify this is, first of all, it's one of those shelf fungi like you see here, right? Uh, it's gonna grow out of the tree like a shelf. Um, the top of it is going to be a brown color. This one's a little lighter because it's a little older, um, so it will tend to fade in that brownish color. When they're newer in age, you're gonna see this kind of brown color, uh, more of a dark brown. Um, also, these are perennial conchs, meaning that every year they grow on top of each other to get larger. So if you look at this conch here, you can see that there's multiple layers, um, which helps you to identify the age of the conch, which is also helpful when you're trying to see how long the tree has been infected with this fungus. Um, it doesn't tell you necessarily before the conch was grown um, how long it was infected, but it at least tells you that it's this old. It's at least been infected this long. Um, this is a pretty aggressive wood decay fungus. So if you do see the conch growing out of the tree, keep that in mind that it is an aggressive one and something should, at least you should look at it and internally um, in terms of how severe the decay is, okay? So like I said before, the top of the conch is going to be a brownish color, um, and then the bottom part is going to be more of this white color. This bottom part hasn't aged so well, so after time it can change colors, just like everything else, um, but it's going to be this more white color, and that's where the spores are produced. 
Um, it's called Artist Conk because you can actually draw on it like you see here. Um, so it's kind of something that people actually look for a lot in terms of um, art backgrounds, but um, bad for the trees, good for art, all right? So the next wood decay fungus I'm going to tell you about is Ganoderma um, sessile, and this one is called varnish conch, as its common name. You can see on this, um, this conch right here that it's very shiny and red on top. Um, typically with age, they'll lose that shine, but this one actually was preserved really well, so you can still see that shine, and that's how it gets that name, varnish conch. Um, this one will grow at the base of trees or a lot of the time you'll see it on dead wood already. Um, it's not as aggressive as the Ganoderma aplanatum that we just saw, um, but it is another form of aggressive wood decay fungi. Um, you can see that the top of it is red and shiny, and then the bottom is going to be that white color, and that's where those spores are released. Sometimes you'll see it coming directly out of the tree, you know, like this, and it will be more of a shelf. And then other times you'll see it grow with a small little stalk um, coming out and actually forming a whole circle. This one has a lot of different shapes and forms, so it can be difficult to ID sometimes if you're not seeing that red part. I've seen it come out of trees as like a white protrusion at first, and then later on, as the conch grows, it gets that reddish color and that varnish conch top. So if you're not sure, just make sure you send pictures in or have someone who knows what they're talking about um, ID it. But in general, this one's pretty easy due to that red color with the varnish, um, that shiny stuff on top, all right? The last wood decay fungus that we're gonna talk to or talk about today is um, chicken of the woods, which actually has many different species that are labeled chicken of the woods in the Ladioporus um, genus, okay? Um, so sometimes you'll see conchs that have a more salmon colored top like this one. This is not a fresh conch, so it's lost its color a little bit. Um, but this one did have that more salmon colored top and then kind of a cream colored yellow bottom. And then sometimes you'll see species that have a really bright orange top and then the bottom will be a kind of a bright yellow bottom. So keep in mind that this can be different in colors but they all are gonna cause brown rot on trees, making the tree really brittle, um, which is something that makes the tree super hazardous. Therefore, when I see this on a tree, I usually recommend that people just remove it because it makes the tree so hazardous. Um, another way to help you identify chicken of the woods is um, by feeling the flesh of it. Again, this one's older, so I can't really show you how squishy it is, but it's called chicken of the woods because it's squishy and it feels like you're touching raw chicken. Also, you can see that the pores on, on the underside are very, very deep. So that's where the spores come out, um, but that's another good way to help you to identify them. Um, typically, you will see them either starting at the base of the tree with this stalk like you see here coming out, and then other times you'll see them go all the way up the tree. They can go really far up the trunk of the tree. Um, and they're always going to be in multiple shelves like this. You're never just gonna see one conch coming out of the tree with this. It's always gonna be in multiple layers. They can get super heavy too. Um, this one, when it was not dry, it was probably about five or six pounds. So um, that's another good way to just feel it out, feel how dense and heavy it is. That's a good way to help you to identify it too. All right, so if you do see this one at the base of the tree, be worried, probably don't climb it, and um, yeah, 